All right, welcome to Onshape. Hopefully you've already created this. If you are confused by dimensions, um, I will go back and show you. This is one of the wonderful things about all of these programs is they have what you've done on the left here. Um, called browser and other ones, there is a browser on the left, but it's called your history. So let's go look at what I did in sketch two. In case you're like, geez, I don't know where you got all these dimensions from. I put them all in. So this thing you should already know is five wide by three high by three deep. And then I put in one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch, and then 1.5 inch diameter, 1.25 up, 1.25 over. Uh, so it's nice because you can go back to see what you did. And oops, I should have made that 1.5. You can always change it and it automatically updates. That's something new for students. Students are used to ah, delete everything, just start from scratch. Never do that in CAD. You can always go back and figure it out from there. So here it is. It's more or less done. I'll rotate it a little bit. This is, I'm pressing the far right key down and scrolling the mouse around. I don't like that. I want to see what the corner looks like again. Hey, right back. Or I could grab it with the middle mouse button, press it down and drag it around. But I'll hit this button. It should go back to what we call home. Never looked at this one. Ooh, shaded. I'll mess with this. That sounds like fun. I wonder what diametric is. All right, that was weird. How about trimatic? Okay, this is bizarre. I'm a fan of isometric. So, want to make a drawing. Uh, no idea what I'm doing. Um, I watched my old video on how I did this, and I don't know where I found that. But uh, we created a drawing here. Kill. Um, I went to ANSI and pulled the B size, which actually was sitting right here because it's the most recent one I did. There's an ISO set of drawings. There's ANSI. Uh, you can really use whatever you want. We're going to go with the B size because that prints nice to 11 by 17. Um, the A size is smaller. Uh, it says here, drawing will automatically have all four views, but uh, it's not really an option. So no views and I am good to go. I believe this takes a second or two. It's got to load. Um, by the way, this is critical. In engineering, we always talk about the difference between messing around in science is that you write things down. Well, this is your documentation for all the work you do. So make sure you do it. Uh, it's coming up here with uh, telling me what to put in, but I'm going to get rid of that for just a second. I'll come back. To this, this button right here. I'm also going to get rid of this right here. I'm going to zoom in on my uh, title block, which I don't like. I don't like it at all. Um, it does have my name on it. It does have the date on it, which is kind of nice. But I don't like all this other nonsense here. For now, we're going to keep it so you can document. I have no idea how to do this. Uh, hey, look at that. I can put a note in, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if I click in there once or double click. Looks like I double click, and then I can type directly into it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, get rid of what's there. Uh, 1.2.3 steps with a hole. Sounds like a, a name you would get in a different culture. Um, let's see what that happens, what happens with that. Uh, it does have my name on it, which is important because you're going to need to put your name on it. So I'll leave that for now. And normally I would delete it. And to delete it, you just drag over the whole thing and hit delete. But we're not going to do that. See what it prints like later, maybe. All right, so this was insert view. This is projected view, which we're going to need. This is auxiliary view, which we're not going to need now. Section view, which we're not going to need now. We will do all this eventually. Broken out section, detail view. Some pretty cool stuff up here. So insert view. Um, how do I get it up? Insert. Hey, there it is. It picks the part for me. Isn't that nice of them? And it's doing this little spinny thing here. Let's see what we got. It says view orientation front. Now, I built it with front, so it should work pretty nice. And it's big, but... Uh, I don't know. It's not too big. I can't go down here in the corner because I got to have my multi view go over there. So I will just put it here. We're not dimensioning yet, so this should do the trick. Um, and let's uh, let's put some projective views in. So click here, come up. There's one. Eventually, and click here, come over, and there's two. There's my views. You might jump up and scream and say, whoa, you just taught me some stuff and we don't have it. And I would say, I agree, we are missing some important stuff. Up here is my asymmetric view. Problem, I can't fit them all on the drawing. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to make it smaller. I'd like to hit the escape key, but I can't. So I'm going to go up here and hit that and then hit that. Um, 
and then I'm going to turn it off because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to click this and I'm going to right click. And I'm going to say, what's going on with the properties? And over here, it's got one to one. Let's make it smaller so we can fit everything in. Let's go with one to two. Cool. Tells me what scale is. I really don't want it to do that. But you know what? I don't really care right now. Um, that looks good to me. Let's go project a view. Click here. Bring it up here. Boy, this thing takes its time. My computer has a lot of stuff loaded on it, so I'm not all that surprised. And that's not bad. Let's see if we can do a little better. Move it uh, right about there. Maybe not. Click. And it still in project view, so I have to control Z that. Hopefully it'll vanish. I'm going to turn off project view. I'm going to click on this one and delete it. See if I can drag this one around a little bit. Yeah, yeah I can. Cool. So watch out. If you're still in something up here, it's going to cause problems. Wonderful. What are we missing? Uh, we're missing hidden views. Um, I'm going to click on this one and say, what happened to my hidden lines? So I'm going to look around here, and I'm betting it's in here somewhere. Target edges, simplification, sheet, view top. It doesn't show what I'm looking for. View properties. That keeps it aligned with the parent. I definitely don't want to change that. Tangent edges, hidden. See what happens when I hit that. Nothing. It's tangent edges, I'm going to leave solid. Uh, view simplification, not mess with that. Best performance, views top. Hmm. Let's try this. Show hidden lines. Pretty cool. Notice how long it took for that to pop up. Now, what else are we missing? Center lines. Is that going to be up here? Tangent edges, shade of views, threads, height sketches, view properties, view orientation, switch to this, move to sheet. It's not there. I'm not all that surprised. This is a center line up here. We can put it in. Edge to edge center line. I wonder if that's what I'm looking for. You and you. And it puts it right in. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, is it missing here? Yes, it is, but I think it might overlap there. Down here it is. So let's put in, well, let's get a center line here. Oh, wait, this one looks pretty cool. All right here. Notice I really don't know what I'm doing. You're going to have to get to this point sooner rather than later with your CAD skills. Interesting. Center mark. Let's see what happens here. I wanted the center mark. Hmm. No idea. All right, I'll be lazy. Do it the old-fashioned way. You to you. Great. And you to you. Great. Center line. Notice, not the faintest idea what I'm doing. Didn't practice this. No clue. Get used to it. Click things and then share them with your partners. Figure it out from there. Uh, show hidden lines. Nothing. Oh, it's not working. Oh, Mr. T, Mr. T, help me, help me. I don't, oh, never mind. All right. What happened to this one? It's hidden underneath this one. All right. It's nice. Bet I could get that scale to turn off too. Anyway, that's it. You're done. Uh, I don't think you have to save it. You can export it, print it. I would love to figure out, if, see if you guys can print it. I think that would be awesome. Uh, that's a video for another time. This is a really, really good start. So give it a shot.